Um, speaking of the truth, I think what Middle Easterns uh, need to learn is the truth about the real nature of Islam, rather than creating model uh, images of what Islam could be, or my personal opinion of Islam as a tolerant religion. Islam is not tolerant religion. There are lots of tolerant Muslims, like Brother Jihad here, which I admire and uh, I love unconditionally. But in Islam, there is no tolerance. The tolerant verses in Islam meant for political reasons. Let's put the Quran on the side that we don't understand its language, most of us. Let's put the uh, uh, Islamic ideology on the side as well. Let's look at the life of Muhammad, the behavior of the prophet of Islam that jihad and the rest of the Muslim world follow. Did he kill? Yes. Did he marry a nine-year-old child? Yes, he did. Did he kill the Jewish community of Khaybar because they did not give him the treasures to fund his military campaigns? And did he sleep with, the, with Safiya, the wife of Kinana, the leader of that community, the same night he killed her husband? Yes, he did. So where is the tolerance in that? If this is your highest model, if this is your leader, where is tolerance in that? I understand that you are tolerant. I understand the, that Muslims are tolerant people because I know my father, I know my family, and I know my people. But the real nature of Islam is evil. And this is based on my perfect knowledge of what Islam is. I was born to speak Arabic. I understand the language of the Quran. I know about the life of Muhammad from the most trusted resources, and I can guarantee you that Muhammad did not tolerate, but he took revenge from anybody who opposite him. These are the facts that we need to tell our people. I want to see what's so called the Arab Spring in the, in the Middle East. I see people um, protesting against political regimes. I want to see Middle Easterns protesting against the absolute control of religion against Islam itself, against Allah himself in the streets. When we see that happening in the Middle East, then we can say that this is a spring. The European spring was against the control of religion and religious authorities over people's lives. It was not against political systems. And this is what I want to see in the Middle East. And the only way to see this happening by telling people the truth, not Americans, not Westerners. I want to tell my people the truth of what Islam is, and I will see them fighting because they don't belong to that religion. They belong to God, the Most High One who created them. Thank you.